All right, and welcome to episode four of JBTA. Uh, so I've done a, a couple of things since uh, the last episode. I have upgraded both our sawmill to refactory and our uh, not our kiln, not the kiln, but I can't remember what this thing's called. But this takes is so important. It's it's so so important. Uh, because it makes me allowed to have eight things of eight liters of clay rather than four. Uh, and it's just it's just much nicer. I prefer it. But today we are able to make the bloomery, the flint hammer, the stone tongs. We should be able to make everything and progress somewhat into chapter four. So let's get on that. So firstly, we need to make the bloomery, which we're not really going to use uh, as it's, I think it only has a single use and we'll, and we'll use it for one thing and then probably never touch it again. Uh, but next is making a flint hammer, which I'll quickly favorite. Same as the tongs. So the flint hammer is that, that. Need a piece of twine, which is here. And what is it? Pulp, there we go. So I do have some refactory bricks to spare, which will be very helpful for when we go into the new the new chapter, because we will need a couple, we need to upgrade this, which I don't think I explained last episode, by the way. So what you do here is you would put in one of these here, I'll show you. So you grab a log pile, you put it in here, and then you burn it on top of this refactory one, and you get wood tar, which you can get out of this faucet and put into a tank. Which is what you need to make the bloomery. Let me show you. So you need a tarred board, which you need wood tar for, which you can get from refactory pit burning. Okay, so the hammer's made, and now I need to do this, which is an interesting recipe. And this is what we use to take the hot things out of the the bloomery. One's two stone rods, stone rods are on, and I should have yeah, here we go. There we go. Okay, and now Ah, this is what I think I need the bloomery for, yes. So I need to take I think I have a piece of iron somewhere. That's tin, tin gold. Uh, okay, I might need to be right back when I get. Yeah, I'll be right back and I'll go and quickly fetch some mine. Okay, so I managed to go and get another piece of iron from in the ocean. Um, I brought it back, slapped it into the bloomery. And now I just have to wait for it to finish, which takes absolutely forever. So what we're going to do in the meantime is I finally have access to the Alchemist questline, which took me a lot of trading because I, I figured out uh, through asking members in the Discord, which I will link in the description. Uh, I need to I needed to have a specific level of like friendship with them. And the alchemist is going to be very, very important because I'm going to be stealing a lot of stuff off of him. And the pickaxe he gives you lasts you a very long time as well. Uh, it's one of these gods has a little thing on him that tells the alchemist. So I've been looking for ages now. and Oh, oh here he is, here he is, here he is. Lothar Bernard, okay. My son has come to ears, you seek knowledge around what the Lord has seen fit. Do not fall into heresy. If you need guidance, you should retire to a monastery and pray for it. God smiles on people wise enough to see the limit of their understanding. 
But you are young and foolish, and I know my advice will fall on deaf ears until you learn the lesson yourself. There's another man you can go and see. Uh, yes, his name is Alchemist, and that should start the questline. So I can't remember if we just get it immediately, or if I have to do something else first. I know this is quite a long quest line that we can't finish for a little while. But let's just see if we can go and get this tool. Because with this tool, we can also mine gold blocks, which is very important for getting gold and diamond and some other things. And it's very high durability as well, which beats our flint pickaxes. And another thing I will also show you... is all of these turn into crafting tables and furnaces, which we need a lot of in the next chapter. Because to make the basic workshop, we need a furnace and a crafting table, and they can be slightly painful to make. So we're gonna steal the first two so we can get the workshop, which unlocks a load of really helpful re uh, helpful like recipes. So for now, let's see, can I speak to him? Uh, I accept. Cool, so now this is going to become like our house for the alchemist, basically. Oh, and these windows we will be stealing in the future as well. So it should be able to just come to you. Hopefully. I'm currently working on the lives of the rocks. I need some samples now. Okay, there we go. So this is where he says, I'll provide you with tools. And here we go. Uh... Update my inventory, and there we go. So we get a Norman pickaxe and a Norman shovel. Uh, these guys have got crazy durability, and that's pretty much it. This is very difficult. Two lapis, eight coal, one gold ore, one redstone. I don't know if the gold from uh, Pyrotech counts. Because I know we definitely don't have lapis. Oh no, we have lapis. Okay, we have lapis, we have coal. I'd like to figure out if this gold counts. Or was it was lapis, gold, lapis, gold, coal, and iron. Okay, we definitely don't have iron, the iron, ugh, access to the iron ore just yet. But I'm going to make my way back and see if I can give this to him. Okay, so let's have a look and see if he accepts this. Okay, so he's happy with the coal. Okay, he wants actual iron ore, actual gold ore, and a piece of redstone. Redstone I can do, but I'm not sure how I get gold ore. Apparently it spawns. I, I would just have to go mining for it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to go home and I'll catch up with you guys there. So unfortunately, I did just lose a life. Uh, I had to go AFK and I forgot I was logged in. And I didn't like pause or anything. So unfortunately, we are now down to two lives. But... That uh, that shouldn't be a problem because we are quite quickly approaching. He wants blood for some reason. Okay, there we go. So we are quite rapidly approaching this. As soon as we as soon as we make more wood tar and other refactory things, we can start pumping things into this village over here. And go and spawn a new one on a on an island that's I think if I go to spawn it's about hold on I think it's about like hereish a very big ice island and there is a village there already which we could exploit and I basically we use that to get a bunch of lives and a bunch of money and so yeah we will definitely be doing that but first. I would like to get access, I think. Oh no, it's just diamond, yeah. So we need diamond, gold. But the most painful part is these cogs. You need to make a ton of them. But I'll I'll just do that off camera and we'll grind a bunch of uh, things. But for now, I'm going to AFK for a little bit longer. Um, 
just because there's not really too much there's not really too much I can do without this guy being finished. I can actually have a quick look. No, still not finished. Uh, yeah, so I've did a bunch of reorganizing. We've now only got two chests. Uh, I died. And uh, yeah, so for now, that's all. I'll, uh, unless that finishes the next like three seconds, I will say thank you very much for watching. And, uh, this is going to be a, probably a very short episode. It should be about 10, 15 minutes, maybe. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in episode five. See ya.